Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with Ultimate Fishing Simulator. I had started this game just a little while ago and realized that I was having some sound issues, and I had just caught a giant grouper. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show it to you guys, but we are here in Thailand because I really just wanted to catch some big fish. I've been, you know, fishing in other locations in the like the Amazon and places like that and there's some boots good sized fish there but they really really get big here I think they're the biggest here and in uh, the Japan map with the uh, giant barbs but we're actually right at the moment over here at position six I just wanted to be sure that I made you aware of where we were I wanted to see what the new look is like here and it looks really nice but I went ahead and set up my rods with uh, so that we're fishing for certain sizes like right now this is not going to catch much of anything here because the fish even though they're a good size the ones I'm pulling in has been under 30 pounds so I'd have to come up with a, a lure that's a little bit smaller than that to catch the ones that are here but we may need to go out a little bit further into the to the ocean to get the big ones but we'll see if we can get another one while we're here we managed to pull one in using this. There are some decent ones right out there. But they're not the biggest. They're just decent. And even if the hook says it's too small, it, that's not right. They're, it's big enough. Caught two of them just fine without even really trying. You just have to make certain that you're close to them. Now I'm going to have to buy some more minnows because it looks like I'm getting a little low. Yeah, that's a bunch of hooey. I think what it does when it says that is it takes into account the majority of the fish within the area. And for that, it's correct. Like that. What? World? I only have one minnow on this one. So I really might need to get more and add to it. Yeah, we are running low on those. And we got plenty of money, that's not an issue. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and stock up here. Let's take another look-see. Yeah, there's a decent one right out there. See if I can get their attention here. You have a few more bait fish on there. I think that's going to get their attention. Alright, let's take another look see around here. Yeah, there's a big one right out there. Hopefully he'll see it. Yeah, he has to be within range. Unfortunately, like, with this version, you can't spin the entire camera around like you can with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So, if he's to the right or the left, we can't see him. 
we just have to hope that he sees it. Hook size is proper. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. There we go. Boom. There we go. We got him. Big old fish. Big old fish. Yeah, there's two groupers here. There's the giant and the... I think it's called the Malabar grouper. I'll have to take a look, but I believe it's Malabar. Boy, he is definitely making a run for it. Yeah, when I was recording earlier, I think that fish was not nearly this big. He was like 25 pounds. And these can go hundreds of pounds, which is why I'm thinking about going out further, because these are not the real monsters. There we go, we got him turned around. Now we have to be real careful because this fella will be able to snap this line in a heartbeat without even a thought. And it's not even light line. But just the sheer power of these guys. Not that they fight, they just got a heck of a lot of brute strength. Now when this gets about a hundred feet, I need to bring the camera up because he'll make a run for it. That's what they traditionally do. You get him about a hundred feet from pulling him out of the water and then he'll make another run for it. Let's go ahead and take the camera out and then he's already starting. There he goes. Yep, see what he did? It's like they get their second wind. You gotta make sure you take that tension down, let him fight it a little bit. Might even have to take it down to 57 on the tension. Alright. Yeah, this fellow's a lot bigger than the one I had earlier. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. he could still make one more run too because sometimes they can do it two or three times I think we got him this time honestly if we can get him within so many feet yep there we go ho 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 101 pounds 101.79 pounds $617 yeah a lot bigger <laughs> heck of a lot bigger. I wish you could get a better view. The smaller one I have is held, holding up a lot better. Now I've got plenty of cash. Honestly, I need the XP more than I need that. Because I need to level up a little bit here. There he goes. Be free, my friend. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get back in the boat. So position six seems to be good for the giant grouper. And they can come quite big or moderate sized. And we're going to take our way out here a little bit, see what we can discover. I'm looking for large dots here. I 
Alright, let's see what those are. Love to be able to run into some sharks, but I don't think they're over here. Let me see here. Uh, kind of looks like more of the same to me. Said I want to get some big fish. Okay, there's some big fish off of there. Let me see if that's what we're after here. No. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's. Since we're not cutting into some really big species here, let's see what's at seven. Where is seven? This is a rocky area. I don't know about that. There's no boats here either. So that kind of answers the question for us. Let's go to one. This could be good. Got a great big picturesque rock over there. I see fish. And I see fish of all sizes and types. Let's go over the other side of this rock and see what's on that side of things. <coughs> okay, there's some big fish over here. Let's see what we got going on out there. Uh, it looks more like more grouper to me. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'm going to toss that right out there. We'll see if these guys are interested in some minnows. Some live bait. That looks like a barracuda there. Oh, yes it is. I hope this is the right size hook. Because I've been wanting to get one of those. I have not gotten a representative sample. Smaller. Shoot. I don't know. We know the grouper will go for it. I'm not sure about the barracuda. Barracuda will go for this bait, that's for sure. But Well, the big fish moved off. And that's why I'm not getting anything. Alright, we'll go ahead and go back to the boat. Okay, we've got some big fish out here. Yeah, quite a few. All right. You almost got to get right on top of these guys to get their interest, it seems like. There we go. There he is. Boom. All right. Well, there's one. He is serious. 
as one serious fish. Yeah, he's not as big as that last one, but he's a fighter. Okay, starting to slow down. Yep. Yeah, this guy's not nearly as big. Not nearly as big, but still a decent fish. He's probably around 20 pounds, I think. Yep. I see you can get a better look at him there, but that's a Malabar grouper. So this is a different species of grouper. They don't get nearly as big. That's probably what's mainly swimming around here, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm sure they're not trying to compete with their bigger cousins. Not sure if I got that close enough to him. Now we can recast. If it says proper, then I'm leaving it be. Now it says smaller, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. We'll give it another minute or so. He could still be in range. The reason I say that is I keep getting a lot of lag. Sometimes that happens right with this one starts to come into the frame. Yeah, let's go ahead and recast. It's one thing that's nice about this, you don't have to reel it all the way in. Ooh, there's a big fella right there. I'm trying to get it out to him. Come on, big guy. You know you want it. Wait a minute, let me reel it in a little closer to him. He's headed this way. I don't know. I mean, I got it close enough to him. He was a big one. Well, there he goes. <laughs> I can't win. All right. Now it says I need a bigger hook. <laughs> okay. Fine. People are driving me nuts. All right, we'll get it. With a, we'll go with a bigger hook. Let's see. Not that big. Okay, how big can that go? Um, might need a three odd. Where is he? We can cast that near him again. That must be him there. There we go, right next to him. Well, you have to get it right on top of him, I tell you. I'm a little worried that that might be too big. I was thinking about going with a 2 op, but the 1 op was not big enough, so we. Ah, and we're staying right where we are. Because this may be the biggest fish we've gone after yet. If I can get his attention.
Come on, dude. Do it. Well, where'd he go? Alright, let's take a look out here just real close, see if he's anywhere in the vicinity. Well, where'd he go? A little creep? Well, he isn't a little creep, but he is a little, he's a creep, nonetheless. Creep, he ran off. What's the deal? Where'd you go, fish? That you? That has to be him. There's not many fish that big. Alright. Come on. Focus. Focus. missed him. Yeah, if you don't get it right, right on top of him. Oh, never mind. He did go for it. You had me fooled there, dude. Can't tell how big this one is. He's good size. I don't think he's as big as that one, but he's up there. Just need to be careful. Well, that was close. Almost lost him. Okay, he's starting to turn. Maybe not. Now he's turning. Yeah, we're gaining ground now. We're gaining ground now, guys. We got him. I don't know if this is a giant or a Malibu. Malibu. Malabar. <laughs> not sure if this is a giant or a Malabar, but... At this point, we don't care. We just want to get us a big fish. All right, we're getting close to a hundred feet, so we need to start watching what he what he does. I'm gonna take the tension down, not that much. Okay, we need to watch. He's going to try one more last hurrah, probably around 80 feet. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on, big fella. We got gotcha. you. It is a Malabar. He is 79 pounds, a new record for me for the Malabar. Nice. So I wasn't sure that he was, if he was a, a Malabar or a giant grouper because he was so big. $501. I think they're worth a little more when you catch them bigger, too. Yeah, I'm going to keep him. Well, Malabar and giant groupers. Not bad. Not bad at all. We keep it. We keep working with this. We might actually get our level. Yeah, I don't know where the sharks are. I've been. I'm gonna have to look back at my old video because I have been running into, like I said, plenty of grouper, but no sharks. 
But I think in the next episode, that's what we're going to try to see if we can't find. We're going to see if we can find some sharks. Maybe the barracuda. I did see some barracuda. But I haven't caught them yet. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And we'll see if we can't get something big and something new. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.